Hello, it's Pizza Loving Nerd, and one misconception I hear about about Linux is it can't run Linux, it can't run Windows apps, and um, this is one reason my my friend won't switch to Linux, um, because he wants Paint.net on Linux, and he also wants Fortnite. For well, Fortnite can't run on Linux because of that stupid Battle.net launcher, and trust me, I've tried running it on Linux. Paint.net can. So I got this to work using Crossover, so to open it up. It is running an older version of Paint.net, but hey, it's Paint.net. Yeah, so I can draw. Works fine. Um, it's Paint.net. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. So, um, yeah, so I could do basic image editing. What's that, uh? Terrible looking gradient. I like the gradient editor and paint.net better than GIMP, but other than that, I like GIMP better. Let's see. Um, let's see. Here it is. So, yeah, we'll just. It's paint.net. That's all I have to say about this. Um, make my secondary color. Oh. And we'll do a gradient to purple here. Let's do orange. It's a nice looking gradient, I must say. This looks pretty good. Okay, so, and I can move this, so. And then use that as a background and just draw. Yay, okay. So, um. Anyways, yeah, it's paint.net. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory here. Um, but how did I, how did I set up paint.net? Well, um, I have this app called Crossover. It's forty dollars for one version, but um, hold on, I think you can do. Won't this work? There it goes. Um, I can't spell. Oh, I hit. There it goes. Okay, so um, let's see. Crossover. It's pretty. It's a good price. Um, it's um. Let's see. It costs. You can get one version for forty dollars, or you could pay sixty dollars a year, or five hundred dollars for a lifetime. Um, yeah. So pretty it's a good price in my opinion now you can also use this application called play on linux um i'm not sure if it works with paint.net but watch all um it's got a pretty good selection of things um and this is free but um crossover it's like i'd say play on linux the application you're trying to install has like a 40 percent chance of working I'd say 40, probably, that's a good guess. But Crossover has like a 90% chance, and the only application I couldn't get to work was, um, what's it called? Office 365 and a couple games. But, um, yeah. So, you can run, there's also other, you can, you're geeky and you have a lot of time on your hands, you can just use plain wine. It's kind of a pain to set up, but it works. That's all that matters. Um, so, yeah, you you can run Windows apps on Linux. So let's let me quickly show you how to install Paint.net using Crossover. So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is open up Crossover. Didn't it? I want to open. There it goes. And you just click on. Um, let me make. A little bit smaller here. Okay, here it goes. You just click on install Windows software and then select and then type the name of the software you want to see if it is built in by default. Um so or you can select the installer. So if you have a exe file you can use that. So if I want to paint.net, I can either type in paint.net or I could go to multimedia um, graphics, 
image editing and then paint.net so, um i'm not gonna do that but i'll install some i'll install paint tool sci just as an example so you just click install and then wait like five minutes and it downloads and it stalls itself so let's see so yeah it's pretty easy um paint out that takes a little bit longer because it has to install visual studio or visual just the dot net framework but as you can see it works fine now i got paint on i got paint tool sci um running on um Linux, so <laughs> I'm not a fan of Paint Tool Sci, that was just an example. But it works, so one day try all Paint Tool Sci. Whatever. Yeah. So can run both Paint on and Paint Tool Sci on Linux and let's look at play on Linux too. See. Do Play on Linux is kind of buggy, but let's do Notepad++, and then it will automatically install Notepad++, so, um, let's see. Here it goes, so, now I'm installing Notepad++. Whew, it's pretty cool. Um... It's weird. Well, I got an error. That sucks. Um, yeah, play on Linux doesn't work very well, but cross crossover um works fine. Um, that was just a s h a to hash error. If you when it if you would have gotten on installer and did it, it would have worked fine. But I'm too lazy, so um, yeah, that's how you run. Paint.net and Paint Tool Sci on Linux. Yep. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.